What's going on YouTube? My name's Matt, and today we'll be doing some Matt's Minecraft Let's Play. So, uh, I kinda did, uh, fail a little bit and died, so I did find this fortress, and I made a little, uh, barricade right there, so we have, uh, some mixture we're yep, nope, normal. Actually, this is pretty hard. We'll do it on easy. Okay, so... We've got some of these guys in there, and I've killed a few of them, as you can see. And, alright. Come at me. Oh, buddy. God, these things are so annoying. They sure do hurt a lot. So... God, they really do hurt. Well, we're gonna heal up a bit and try this again. Come at me. Come on. Into fire. <laughs> why did I just get that? I got that achievement like a second ago. I don't know why it's messed up like that. Oh gosh, there's a lot of them. This is this is it. This is Minecraft to its limit. Whew. All right, we definitely need to heal up. And I'm already level five. Wow. I did make myself an iron armor kit because that really does help you a lot. Because these guys own you. If you don't have it, so. Hello. Hold on. Jerk! Get back here. God. They wouldn't be annoying if they didn't catch you on fire. Okay. 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 Sorry about that, but I did not want to die there. Okay. <laughs> Resuming. <laughs> okay, why can't I get through the door? <laughs> Please, guys, you are so annoying. Let's go check the rest of this place. We've got like seven of those. They are like so annoying, though. Alright, so in this episode, I kind of... Since we're in the nether and, you know, to... If, oh my gosh, more? Really? Oh! Oh gosh. You wouldn't be so bad if they were in groups. Oh gosh. run in there. Oh my god, this is intense. <laughs> okay. Clear. <gasps> oh gosh. Oh my gosh, this is very intense. We'll get 15 and then we'll go back. Ouch. Come on. <sighs> Close. We must survive. <sighs> okay, 13, and then we'll head back. Alright, 
we'll try this this one again. Maybe we'll just hop up here and kind of corner camp them. I think it'll be their best option. But I doubt they're actually going to spawn. Okay, well. Tess or, or Tess, let's see if there's any over here. Or if. I'm kind of looking for nether warts, so. And that's a dead end. Dead, dead end. Okay, well. Come on, we just need two more, so I guess we'll go back and kill these dudes. Do these spawners go like inactive? I'm not on peaceful. Well, I, I'm not sure what the problem is, but let's just keep exploring these things a bit more. Free glowstone, always worth getting. Glowstone's like such a pain to get, like if you get it like when it's just like hanging over, I think it's like really easy to get in these things. Cause you, you don't even have to build anything, it's just nice and easy set up for you. So if you guys have any recommendations on what I should do to get closer to the end, go ahead and leave that in the comments section below, as always. And another dead end. Actually, this is a rather strange design, there has to be something. It's usually... Did I just run in a circle? Yeah, I did. Let's see, I went this way. No. Yeah, that's these are all dead ends. Wow. Okay, yeah, dead end. And where does this go? All right. Well, I'm going to come back when I find the mo whatever that mushrooms or whatever they're called. So, I'll talk to you guys in a second. Okay guys, I'm back, and quite frankly, the nether is not a friendly place, so I uh, did get out of there, and I made, I actually brought, like, I went back, or I found the thingy, went back, went back in, and I, I brought 10 obsidian with me last time, so, and I made a portal from the, uh, uh, whatever that's called, uh, I, I want to say stronghold, but I don't think that's right, uh, the nether dungeon or whatever and it linked I figured it would link to there but it actually linked to somewhere else and I had to use coordinates to get back so on my way back I found a uh, uh, what are they called abandoned mine and I uh, found a lot of chest and that's what I got so I also got a lot of stuff from the nether so I guess it was really intense, <laughs> and I didn't really end up, you know, getting to record it because it was so, like, you know, uh, you know, everybody's there and whatnot, so just a very intense moment, and, you know, uh, it's, it's, I guess you didn't miss out too much, though, so it's all, f all fine, I guess, but I do want to make a melon farm now that we have melons and pumpkin seeds and we're gonna do that over here excuse me excuse me please move actually I like this area Hmm. See the, the water will be right 
down here, I think I still have my shovel. Yeah, I didn't really use that that much. Didn't get any soul sand, that's kind of pointless. And single player. And... One more right there. Once again, if you guys ha have any recommendations of what you want me to build, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. Also, get these sheep out of my farm, or animals. Okay, so we're going to make a lot of glowstone out of that. <laughs> Actually, never mind. We're going to save that for a few things. One would be uh, glowstone, and the other would be uh, whatever the uh, potions, yeah. Okay, let's see. Gate. So, wait. I'm pretty sure it goes like, yeah. You need that many sticks. It goes like... That. Yep. Okay, so. We forgot to get wheat, but that's okay. We'll get it in a second. Alright, get some wheat. Harvest all this junk. I tell you, that nether is scary. It's a scary place. So, uh,. Uh, before I died, when I attempt attempted this, I was telling a ghost story because, you know, it was in the nether and there was f just a Friday the 13th, uh, three, two days ago. So, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you guys the ghost story now. So, there's a summer camp that I go to and it's kind of like a boys camp and, you know, you do stuff like, you know, manhunt and all that, you know, kind of stuff and, I guess, like, you know, games and, I guess... I guess you can kind of feel me on that, but, uh, anyway, uh, it was this, they, they had this ghost story there that was, uh, they called him the Boojum, and he was a ghost, or he, he wasn't a ghost at first, obviously, no ghost stories start out with a ghost at first, and I did this wrong. Alright, we'll just do it like this. Um, yeah, that one's gonna be, have to be wheat, then these will just be wheat. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> um, but anyway, so it's a ghost. He was a preacher, apparently, and there's this lake, man-made lake in, at the camp, and uh, there used to be like a town, and it was a valley, and they flooded the valley, basically, and... What are you doing? Move. And the guy chained himself to a the church because he was a preacher and he was like the highest voice up there, I guess they said. And he, uh, when he was n knees deep, he like cursed the people who flooded it. When he was uh, like chest deep, he cursed the grandsons. And then when he was uh, right before he could. Like, right before his mouth got covered, he cursed the uh, town or something. And so he's not, like, now he's apparently like really rich and he was a miner worker as well. He was a preacher and a miner. And he's got a lot of gems hidden. And they're, like, everybody was in search of the gems back. Did you just. Alright. Back in the day and whatnot. But basically, in the town. They, the camp that bought the lot, they found three, like, bone fingers, and that was kind of creepy, because, you know, it's three bone fingers, that's not normal, I guess. So, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, I guess we'll cut down these trees, kind of do some house renovation, but they also, the next summer, that when they were, when they went back to the campus, they, uh, checked you know, the sign-up place, and there was a lady who hung herself at the top floor of that, and, you know, like, there's all these sudden occurrences of death, and then, like, you know, it's like kind of your average ghost story, and apparently this guy named the Boojum was his name, and he's apparently haunting that area, and all the campers that go there, you know, it's kind of like, you know, just like a fun ghost story, but 
it's not really meant to be, you know, like scary. I guess it could be real or it couldn't be. Just depends on your opinions if you believe in ghosts or not, but I honestly could care less, so <laughs> I'm not a, you know, big ghost story fan cuz honestly it really doesn't matter to me. So All right. Well, this is this was a pretty, I guess, bland plain video, so I do apologize for that. But if you guys did enjoy it anyway, please leave your comments, likes, subscribes, you know all the good stuff, and that is muchly appreciated. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later, and I guess in the next episode, we'll be in hunt for the Endermen. So see ya.